91. Um, I made a video, but I promptly deleted it. So I'm making a new one. <laughs> Usual technical fun. Um, I'm just going to keep working on the Brahms because I'm looking at my calendar and I'm getting very, that's not very good focus, nervous about um, how insanely busy September is going to be. Like I literally have weddings every weekend, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. And then, you know, orchestra starts back up and then we're planning a trip. So I'm just, I'm going to get this thing figured out as far as fingerings, not Boeing's because I don't have the concert master's Boeing's yet, but I just want to get ahead of the curve on there. So at least this won't be stressing me out. <laughs> I'm starting to figure out some of these fifth things. the 3rd of July and um, we have a veritable war zone starting like a week before 4th of July and way past like all summer long we'll be having lots of booms so if you hear some booms it's pyrotechnics <laughs> Flat. 
Cypress violin has that too. <laughs>
splendidly. In the fourth position, bing, bing, boom. <laughs> between the illegal and the legal because those are a lot louder. Um, hopefully my kid slips through this. Uh, let's see. That'll be our at least it's a tritone. That's the only way you can do it. Back to first. Just have to remember that the C to F sharp is a tritone. So when I shift. Thank you. 
sinewy, right? Basket weavy kind of feel. So we're just doing an extended fold on the A sharp, four, three, one, and then pull the four down for the natural. It's the best I got. <laughs> shift downward, right? So the first of every four is. That's what I want to hear. Yeah, it's a lot easier once you hear what's going on harmonically. All right. Okay, cool. Well, that's the first first movement. At least I've got fingers now. Um, I started the other movement the other day. And I just need to finish up, and then we'll do the third and the fourth. And then I just need to practice it. So that's always what I do. I get new orchestral pieces, and that's all I do is just work. Usually I will just do this in one night because I can't let it go. I just want to get it all done. But with, with, with my baby <laughs> and my life outside of just violin, um, I do not have the time to do that, or at least the energy today anyway. Plus I'm fighting with the fireworks outside. So, so what I do is I finger things, right? I get it all fingering, get all the fingerings in there. And they usually stick, but sometimes when I get back into the orchestra and the conductor starts conducting, something might be too fast or it just doesn't lay well, but usually they stick. My fingerings are pretty much solid once I get them figured out. Um, so then, And then I'll just start drilling things with the metronome. As you've seen these last 90 plus days of practice, that's what I do. You know, you just you drill it and you get it into your muscle memory and um, then you know you can trust it when you do the concerts and the rehearsals. So ideally I will have all of this fingered um, by Tuesday. Today is Sunday. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then away I go. I start practicing it. And I really, I want to learn it and get it kind of solid and then just kind of keep maintenancing it until September. Um, yeah, we've got, we've, you know, due to the pandemic that shall not be named, um, we haven't traveled or done anything for basically because, you know, my son was born and then it happened. So we are planning a bunch of trips and stuff because my son will be vaccinated very shortly. And um, so we're trying to juggle that in between symphony life coming back because um, we can't really do it this summer because he won't be fully vaccinated until t toward the end of summer. So that is why <laughs> I'm trying to get stuff kind of ahead of the game. Um, I'm also going to work on a bunch of wedding quartet things that I have to do and some solo court, solo gigs that I have to do. I have to like arrange music and stuff. Um, so that'll be the next few weeks. I'm just trying to get ahead of things so that come September I'm not like pulling my hair out. When we go on our trips, you know, we start doing our, our trips and things. I want to relax and not be like, oh, but next week I've got this and I haven't practiced enough. So anyway, telling you about my life story here. We are officially on the peg box on my violin um, practice chart. Um, so super excited because now we have nine more days until the end of 100 days of practice. And I'll probably still check in with my YouTube channel and, and do some practices, but I, I won't be doing it um, every single day. Um, just because it takes some time to do the techno, even though I don't edit, clearly I don't edit, it still takes time. Um, and I'm going to need it these next few months just to, like I said, prep for the upcoming uh, new season orchestrally and gig-wise, wedding-wise. So anyway, uh, happy early 4th. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll record again tomorrow, maybe early in the day so I don't have to fight all the explosions. But uh, happy practicing. Good night.